hi. So since the snow is falling outside and it is on our way to Christmas, I thought we would look at a Christmas song and look at its history and its meaning. Now I'm sure you've heard of On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. I am not a huge fan of this song, but when I learned what each gift meant, I was a little more interested. Because if you think about the words, there's a lot of birds that are given. And if you add up all the presents throughout the whole song, that is 364 presents. That means you can get a present every single day of the year except for one. So let's look at what each present means, because guess what? The 12 Days of Christmas is actually a Christian song, and it was used to teach people in England about the different parts of Christianity. So let's see. It's originated in England in the 1800s. It might be a little bit older, but we're not quite sure. <clears throat> about, oh, 1780, actually. Uh, I just read it. I must have missed that earlier. So it's 1780, so it's pretty old song and it's always been in English which very rarely are carols usually in English usually they're in a different language first so that's pretty cool that this one is always been in English and number one is on the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree now what is that supposed to mean well the partridge in a pear tree is supposed to represent Jesus he is the son of God and whose birthday we celebrate well, partridges are one of the few birds that will attack, uh, protect their nest if a predator comes and tries to attack their nest. Very rarely will birds stay and protect their babies, but partridges will. And Jesus came to protect and save us, so that's why they picked that bird. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves. So turtle doves actually represent the two books of the Bible. So we have the New Testament and the Old Testament, so two turtle doves. And doves are pretty popular in the Bible. That's the, that's the bird that Noah sends out um, after the flood to see if it's safe to come out of the boat, right? And then on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens. And this represents faith, hope, and love. This actually comes for, from 1 Corinthians 13, and it's the love chapter written by the Apostle Paul. So, on the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, and this one's one of my favorite ones to remember, it is the four Gospels. So the four Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And you might have heard that word before Gospels. It's a bigger word. That just means Jesus' story on earth, and it's when he was on earth and taught and was here as a human. So it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then we have the fifth day of Christmas, five golden rings. That also represents something in the Bible. It's the first five books of the Old Testament, and it has a fancy name. It's called the Pentateuch. Isn't that a silly word? It is the first five books of the Bible. And people believe that Moses actually wrote those first five books of our Bible. Then on day six, my true love gave to me six geese of laying. Ooh, what does that mean? Well, actually, it's from the creation story. So each egg represents a day that God created Earth. He created Earth in six days and then rested on the seventh. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. So these are gifts from the Holy Spirit. So we have prophecy, ministry, teaching, um, giving, leading, compassion, and love. And this is represented as swans. And why swans? Well, we're not quite sure, but we think they picked swans because it was one of the most beautiful and graceful creatures on earth. So they would seem like a perfect symbol to represent the gifts from the Holy Spirit. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids of milking. Um, back then in England, if you were a milkmaid, you were not seen as someone with a lot of money or seen as you know, the best person, because usually the lowest of the low were milkmaids. Though that's not very nice, that's how it was back then. 
And so this is to show you that Jesus, <laughs> sorry about the school bell, that Jesus came for all. He came for everyone, from the rich to the poor, to the weak, to the strong. He came for everyone. And, oh, and of course, they were the peacemakers as well, and they were righteous in his eyes, right? If they believed in him. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies dancing. Now, what does that mean? These are the gifts known as the fruit of the spirits. So the fruit of the spirits are love, joy, peace, patience, guidance, kindness, excuse me, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So those are the fruits of the spirit. On the 10th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 10 lords of leaping. So back then in England, a lord was kind of the a mini ruler. They weren't a king, but they were in charge of land and they were also the judge of that land. So if you did something wrong, you had to go before a lord and be charged and judged by him. So that's why they used lords and it's supposed to represent the Ten Commandments. The law, right? So the lords were making sure you followed the law and now we're remembering the Ten Commandments because they are the law God gave us to follow. On the 11th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 11 pipers piping. So, Jesus originally had 12 disciples, but after he died on the cross, he only had 11. And there were 11 disciples who went out in the world and taught about him after Jesus died and rose again from the dead. So the 11 pipers piping are the 12 disciples telling everyone about Jesus. The 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 12 drummers drumming. So this is actually to represent the 12 parts of the Apostles' Creed. So you can actually break apart the Apostles' Creed into eight parts. And the Apostles' Creed, if you don't know it, is I believe in God the Father, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again, and he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, <clears throat> where he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Oh, so that's the Apostles' Creed, if you've never heard it before. And it has 12 parts of it, so that's the 12 uh, drummers drumming. And that is the different meaning of... The 12 days of Christmas. So attached, I will have a version of the 12 days of Christmas so you can listen to it. And also I have a version of a great group um, at a church event acting it out so you could have a good laugh. Have a great week. Bye.